What's up guys? Welcome back to another video here on the Gentry and Sons YouTube channel. So guys, you're going to be a little confused because I'd planned on putting up the second part of our trucking video out to Arizona and back, but we got the scam truck running. And I know a lot of you guys are invested into this truck. I really, really want to see it done. And we actually are getting ready to roll it out of the shop. So uh, this will be the video, the first startup on it and just kind of getting the motor broke in and all that stuff. And I actually want to go over this baby right here. So everybody's been asking about my headset. A lot of people ask about this thing, actually. So check out this charger, first of all. This is the charger on it. Oh, can't get it to focus. Anyways, it's like magnetic. Um, super easy to use. You just clip it right on. Bam, starts charging. Um, so this is um, the aftershock by bone if you look it up and get it on amazon or wherever this is not a sponsored video this is just me showing you guys i really really like this headset i've had them all i used to run the b250 the b350 the b450 um they're awesome for noise canceling and the way they work they're great but they're really really bulky you got to deal with have them on your head they mess with your ear like your ear hurts and all that stuff these here actually sit on your uh, bone, like your sound bone on your, the side of your head. So it's not in your ear, it don't bother you. I don't notice these on my head all day long. That You don't sweat with them. Uh, the noise canceling is really, really good as long as you get the one with the mic. It's not, I'm not gonna say it's as good as the B350, but it's very, very, very close. My wife, you know how, how loud the W900 is and and she does not complain about me using this now she did she hated the airpods she hated everything but the b350 b450s and then once i got this thing she has not complained one time because them trucks are super loud and trying to have noise canceling is very very important the comfort the noise canceling the way it sounds like you hear it, hear it really well it's very loud um i give it a 10 out of 10 all day long great headset but guys, I'm going to let you get to the video. We will be putting up the video of the second part of our trucking trip next. But there's a lot of editing to do to that video. It turned out to be one of the coolest trips I've been on. So um, I really want it to be just perfect. And I want you guys to get to see the cab or the scam truck, you know, rolling out of the shop. So let's get working on that. And I'll see you guys on the next video. So a video that everybody has been waiting on. A lot of people has invested into this truck. A lot of people's invested into this whole situation. A good friend of mine, Shane, uh, he he got scammed. I mean, flat out, no doubt about it, he got scammed. Um, you can actually go down in the description below and see our previous video of how all this went down where we talked to the guy that sold the truck. Pretty much what happened was the guy took a truck. The truck's in good shape to be an FLD, but he took and put an old junky 11.1 Detroit 60 series in it. Dinosaur motor, D-Deck 2, and this truck actually come out with a D-Deck 4 or D-Deck 3 12.7. So after all the waiting, all the bull crap we dealt with with trying to get the motor figured out, I'd ordered a kit for a 12.7. Uh, and then I finally found the engine serial number that was on the block. So the engine kit that we got for it wasn't the right one. It ended up being uh, a complete, I mean, the bearings were different, rods were different, the whole nine yards because the whole time it had, even the valve cover said 12.7, you know, it was 12.7 motor. The engine serial number off the valve cover coming up to a D-Deck 3 12.7. But, so I called my friend, uh, where is that block? Let me show you guys on the block. I think it's laying right over here, yeah. So if you run this number, it's on the block. It's hard to see, but if you run that number, it's on the block. It comes back to a 1992 11.1 Detroit D-Deck 2 motor, which is different wiring, different pistons, different, it don't have full coolers for the pistons or piston coolers. So you can run them safely at 300, 350 horsepower, pretty much reliably, even maybe even 400, but the kind of power that Shane wants with his truck and what he bought and what he expected to have definitely wasn't going to come from that motor so what we done like i said we took one of our motors that we had that i had saved up for one of my cab overs it's uh 
this this motor makes 600 easily all day long no problem i was planning on putting a thousand to it doing some sled pulling with it maybe some uh races i want to start doing them uh drag races that they're doing with the semi trucks now up in michigan so i had some big plans for this motor but a friend in need is better than what i was going to do with it i can still build me another motor which i'm going to i found me another block i found a d-deck four block and i'm going to build me another probably another 14 liter or uh i don't know it's either gonna be a 12 7 or 14 liter i haven't decided yet but i did find me another block and i've got a, a d-deck four 14 liter block that we can build as well they're both good cores that i can put liners in them and and build them so i am i'm very very excited about this i mean it's it's close we're getting ready to fire it within the next hour i'm hoping uh, we got a few hoses to finish hooking up uh i need to make sure this here ain't gonna rub um i've got to cut this and extend this out to move it here because this truck did get a pdi turbo pdi manifold um i guess it just moved it back a little bit either that or i need to get a different neck for it because we're a little bit short by that much Whew. dad should we hook the exhaust up before we fire it up or are we just gonna nope, leave it right there, uh, i think it's gonna be different too Think so? Yeah, it just slid back like three, four inches. Oh, yeah. So we're going to have to do some cutting to make it work. Uh, got the welder ready. Oh, I'm ready. I'm ready to do some welding. I'm ready to see this thing on the road running. That's for my wife's car. Yeah. You're not allowed to do it, Owen. <laughs> she specifically said, Timmy, oh, do it. <laughs> She said, nobody's allowed to touch our new car but me. Well, we know who wears the pants in that relationship. Yeah. <laughs> I'll let her wear the pants. I don't, it's, uh, it's one of those things. Ah, it's hooked up. So everything's wired nice and neat now, guys. Everything's put where it needs to go. Dad's got a little bit more wiring he wants to do on it, but for the most part, it's all wired up. Put Can't believe that computer it. cost us thirteen hundred dollars. That's what a used Detroit computer costs right now. Thirteen hundred dollars. Got oh. wire lens to put on. Oh. That's a reman, but Everything. same thing used. All right, let's see if she'll fire up. Let me. I can't hear now. Are you ready? I think so. Come on, honey. pressure we got you want to do a heat cycle when it get hot not yet i think that exhaust that what? fan's rubbing on the it's rubbing on the pump man that thing fired right up yeah that's because you got us on it son you primed up pretty dang quick yeah that's got a lot of compression though Man, this hmm, remember the old motor it took 10 minutes to start it <laughs> <laughs> yeah this thing fires right up no smoke i mean it, ain't, it didn't smoke hardly at all did you guys this thing is a it's an oem everything this this motor has the best of every part you can put in it on the inside and on the outside so it should be i'd say 600 horsepower to the ground this truck will be a it's going to be a hauling son of a gun it's been a long, long journey. I will say that it has been a journey trying to get this truck back together. And the second I decided to give my motor up, so I had that motor, I definitely did not want to give that motor up. I mean, that is a, it's one heck of a motor. And, but it's going to a good cause. Shane's a good guy. He's been running my truck for a while now.
that up. Yeah, once we tighten that up, it should quit. Quit doing that crap. Here we were tightening that uh, fan. Hey, Nate, you might want to add some more oil. You said 65 pounds of oil pressure? What it said. Good deal. Well, that thing's right, but it sounds good. Well, I hope it's right. <laughs> you tighten that nowhere? Oh, you want to tighten that one? I already tightened this side. I'm ready to see it on the road now. All right, Brax, let's get this thing finished up. Let's get it out of here. We need to get outside and let it do some heat cycles. Everything, all the air is hooked up now. All we gotta do is run the breather hose, which we're bypassing that. We're just gonna put a filter on it. Um, power steering's hooked up. You can get the impact if you want to. I mean, we could pull it out and that. We just put the tire on it and fire it up. We could probably go ahead and pull it outside and get some cooling in it. Yeah, we gotta move the engine. Um, we do have to, that sensor, you gotta figure that out. What? But we got the factory sensor hooked back up, so we don't, we could just block that off actually. So, let's get some cooling in it. Let's get it down on the ground and get it outside. What do you say? Yeah. Yeah, heck yeah. Well, let's put water in it for the first heat cycle. All right. All right I decided to go ahead and just replace the, exhaust flex this old one it, well it's over there somewhere it's it was nasty the way it's got new all the way to the back that way it's new to the back so now we need to put the clamps on it so you got to fix this piece this is on I don't really like that, but that's the way it was. Uh, we're, around, we're getting pretty close. I don't really like these brackets. They suck. They're bad about breaking bolts. They vibrate. They end up just causing more issues than they're good. You said we did have a serpentine bracket left? All right, we're gonna check this oil pressure with a manual gauge because the factory one's showing different readings. Let's see what she does. Come on, boo boo. Give us some oil pressure.
Man, I am super pleased on how good this thing sounds. It is quiet. It's a super quiet motor, ain't it? Man, you know when they start up like that, they're gonna be good motor. No smoke, period. I mean, it ain't smoking a lick. It is, it is smooth. I can't wait to see how good it runs. I'd say it's gonna be stout. A few things to finish up on her and she can go home to Shane. He can do what he wants to do with it. I mean, I would like to see it painted, visor, all that stuff, which there's, he is all about doing some mechanical work to it. Like he's real excited about fixing it up. And I really feel like it's a great feeling when you can fix your truck up like that. So I don't want to take that away from him. I am willing to help him do all that stuff. He wants me to, but um, we did what we said we would do. We put a motor in it. We got it running. We're going to finish putting it back together, make it to where it's nice and reliable. And hopefully he has good luck with it. He is driving my truck for now, uh, waiting on fuel prices to come down. Getting to spend some time with his family a little extra. and Because, uh, guys, when you go, when it's owner-operator time, it's time to hustle. Work hard. Really, really work hard. That's what it's all about. And success will come if you put a lot of effort into it. Now he has no reason why he shouldn't be able to run the crap out of this truck. He's got a new motor, new clutch, um, new tires. They've done went through the drive line on it. He already had that done. We cleaned the radiator out. It's got a new fan hub. Uh, I'm gonna have the ECM tuned. We're not gonna put a big hot flashy tune in it. We're gonna put something reliable. Probably put 550, 600 horse to it. That'll last a long time. I'd like to see this motor go a million miles and, and not have any issues. So uh, good maintenance. We'll probably put some Amsoil in it after it gets broke in good. And then uh, let him go with it. That Amsoil is pretty good stuff. I just ordered a drum of it. I'm gonna start putting it in all the trucks. So I've got to get ready to go though. We are getting amped up to go get the cab over. We are going in the morning to pick up Johnny Cash. I know everybody's been waiting for that thing to come home. We've got everything right here. We've got gasket seals, the pump. I'm gonna get all my tools together, some good hot batteries. And we're gonna go pick up Johnny Cash, get him home. We gotta get it out to Larry's because we're gonna just go all the way through that thing, guys. Really do some work to that truck. I wanna have it at Matt's next year at the truck show. I'd really like to take it down the road. Hopefully we have good luck getting it home. I'm gonna drive it home. It's about, I don't know, 35, 40 miles home with it. I think we'll be okay. It's only been sitting for 25 years. So if it'll build air pressure and run good, not get hot, don't get too crazy. We are planning on driving it to the house. I know a lot of people have been excited about getting thing coming home. So have I. With that pump, injectors, I mean, just everything that we've had to wait on for that truck has been a nightmare. But it's all here now. Thanks to City Diesel. i got to thank those guys again. City Diesel out of Knoxville. They are awesome. I cannot believe they made it happen with this pump. I didn't think it was going to happen, but they, they did. They come, they come in clutch. It was crazy. So guys, I'm gonna get everything loaded up. I'm gonna go home and eat some dinner. Thanks for watching and being a part of the channel. We love you guys and we'll see you on the next video.